Uh, now, political intrigue, tactical voting, tension and high drama. Not the latest twists and turns in the Brexit negotiations, but the Eurovision Song Contest, which returns to our screens tomorrow night. 29-year-old Suri is hoping to bring the title back to the UK in front of a TV audience of 200 million in Lisbon. But what makes Eurovision so popular? We'll be chatting to a couple of super fans in a moment. But first, if you haven't heard it yet, here's our entry. There's such an incredible mix, there's something for everyone at Eurovision. But Storm is an instant, catchy earworm of a song. It gets in there and people have been really getting on board with it, singing every lyric and really screaming it back at me. There's been a lot of love, so that's got to be a good sign for Saturday. So that's Suri talking about the year. It's a good song, that. I like that. It's really definitely, good. Definitely, definitely good. But the experts you could argue, are Brian and Kevin self-confessed Eurovision superfans, yes? Absolutely. Yeah. I think other people would confess that we were Eurovision <laughs> superfans as well. What do you make of the UK entry? It's really good. It's got a lovely, let's get through this storm together. We are certainly going through a storm at the moment. And um, let's see how we do tomorrow night. I really hope um, we do well. So tell us how you became Eurovision superfans then, because um, I understand that you had a Eurovision themed wedding as well. We did. Oh, we, we, we had, had, um, we had um, instrumental versions of Eurovision songs playing while people were walking into the room and a lot of our Eurovision fans didn't actually recognise some of them and so that was, that was quite interesting. <laughs> so if either of you weren't Eurovision fans then you probably wouldn't be together, is that fair to oh, say? No. Oh no, no. there's no way you could ever be married to somebody who didn't love Eurovision, <laughs> that, that would be ridiculous. Can I just say then at this point, I'm not a great Eurovision fan. I don't, I don't, I, I don't get it. Brave. I just don't get it. So can you sell it to me? Why? Because oh, millions of people do. There'll be an audience of 200 million watching it on telly tomorrow night around Europe and, more. and around the world. Mm -hmm. What is it about Eurovision that you love so much? You can't vote for your own country. It means that you have to share with everybody else. You have to see who you like. You have to, um, you know, just, just explore different music tastes. There's lots and lots of different music and some of it's very contemporary. Some is it too contemporary for us old people. <laughs> um, and, you know, some wonderful songs like Ireland with the two lads that was banned in China. Um, the, uh, the, there's Hungary for the hard rock fans, which we really don't get. And, um, I don't know, Israel, oh, the Israeli song. Actually, the Isra can we have a listen to the Israeli song? Because that is a little watch bit unusual. Oh, have, do we have watch to? This. <laughs> I'm not your not your I'll be honest, I don't really get that, but... Um, <laughs> Join the club. What do you think? Do you think, do you think can it win? That would be a dance that at Eurovision discos forevermore. People <laughs> will be requesting that because it's a good dance song. And that's what people are picking up. Yeah, it's, it's good, it's well, it's very well sung-ish. Well, if it's singing or clucking or whatever. <laughs> but it's a really, really catchy song and it, it's eye-catching. Uh, like the Moldovan song, that's absolutely brilliant. Watch out for the Moldovan song. It's really, really um, fascinating. It's like a Brian Ricks farce. Okay, so... so um, we need to know who's going to win. Yeah, that is it. The prediction yeah. is what we need. Who's going to win? <sighs> Our friend who's got a... A doctorate in Eurovision thinks Norway. I'm not convinced. I think it could be Israel. It could be France. It could be oh, it could be anybody. And watch out for Denmark. You like Denmark. I like Denmark. I, yeah, um, it could be Hungary. I'd um, like to go back to your friend who's got a doctorate in Eurovision, <laughs> but we're out of time. Sadly, that's a whole other conversation for another night. Thanks for coming in. Enjoy Eurovision. Enjoy the show. Thank you. Moldova. You heard it here first. <laughs>